uh, you know, just playing hard. Uh, Lisa Leslie came and spoke to us at the ACE facility, and she just told us, um, you know, show up every night. And I feel like I took that, and I feel like I'm going to try my hardest to show up every night from now on. Boy, obviously, you again, you had a great game. Where do you think you've improved the most at from that? Uh, two things. I feel like confidence. Um, my team, my coaches um, help with that, so I feel like that has gotten better, and there's still more work. But and also, like, my body. Um, you know, last year I was falling every possession. And, you know, I'm falling a little bit still, but um, so just getting bigger and uh, staying in the weight room and eating a lot is just really what I've been putting my main focus on. And it's just been just transferring over to the game. Obviously, a lot of the postseason, this or, sorry, preseason discussions were about not having a six foot center in the post. Mm -hmm. How did it actually feel playing the full game, full speed without that? And what can you learn from those early struggles in a game like this that you can take for this? I mean, it's um, a really big difference. I mean, there's, I never played with someone like Camilla, so um, it was awesome playing with her, and she was just such a big part of our team. And, you know, that presence is missing. I mean, she grabbed boards for us. Um, she put up all those points for us. Um, I, we just need to come together, and um, all of our posts are different on our team, and we just need to show what we can do, and everybody needs to, you know, come and play every game, and, um, you know, we'll be fine. On this side, Alan? Fourth quarter, you guys were, I think, six minutes without a point. What was Michigan doing so well defensively? Did you kind of shut you guys down? How did you guys kind of get over the hump there with a couple scores late? <clears throat> hmm. Um, I feel like their zone, um, we didn't attack the paint. Um, we did it. Um, had, we had post up. Um, you know, there's a lot of stuff offensively we could have done better and um, we'll be better. But, I mean, they had a great defense um, tonight. They played well and we had a lot to work on. Yeah, yeah just so you kind of have it gut and check in right off the back, like you said. Um, that kind of light a fire, maybe can show you um, that there's a lot still to do. I'm sorry, can you repeat that? Yeah, just to, to have a gut check game like that right off the bat, does that kind of show you there's room for them? Yeah, I feel like this is going to fuel us. Um, you know, the game is pretty close, and um, we just need to get better, and, and we will. But um, we still had good. You know, the game was still fine. You know, we came out with a win, but um, we know we can do way better, and we will. Last one here in the front in the red. Um, Michigan, Silas Swords, Jordan Hobbs both had big games. What made them effective and hard to guard offense? Uh, they were constantly moving um, the screens, back screens. Uh, you know, that really killed us, the back doors. Uh, Michigan moves a lot, uh, and you really feel it out there. I mean, they're back dooring you, they're cutting, they're setting screens all of the time. So I think that's where they got us. But those two girls did show up good tonight. All right, I'll add one more here on the front. How helpful was it for you to be at the uh, Las Vegas Aces facility? Uh, just, what did you think of the uh, facility? I mean, the facility was beautiful. We didn't get to see everything, but we did see, you know, the court. And, uh, you know, it's really nice. It's like an eye-opener, like, dang, I want to be here one day. Um, I want to be in the league one day. And uh, it's just so nice to see the facilities are getting better uh, in women's basketball, and I'm excited to see the growth. Thank you, Chloe. Thank Thanks, you. Chloe. Questions for Coach Daly? David, start us off. Front, <clears throat> you all know halftime speech at all? Did you let them kind of handle it about how no. much what was the conversation like you had about hey, this is that's Yeah, I mean I, I thought they just put us back on our heels. I thought they got all the fifty fifty bombs. I thought they just played harder. Like they just attacked us. Um they imposed their will on us, and they were in attack mode, you know, for for most of the night. Um, I mean, we, I mean, we made adjustments. I, I did see us, you know, get on get on the floor for those balls. I did see a little bit of nastiness to, you know, our game and prettiness, and that's what you want to see. Like it's a really young season, um, and we're going to get everybody's best all the time, and it's it's. We're fortunate to do it. Like, I, I welcome everybody's best because if if you're if you're the target, you know, you've had some success, and we're not going to shy away from obviously having that target on our back. You know, we'll we'll, we'll hear the rumblings of 
They're not the number one team in the country or this or that. They don't put us the number one team in the country. We'd rather not have it. But but now that we are, we're, we're gonna we're gonna play like there's no number attached to it. Obviously, we got some adjustments to make. Obviously, we got you know some players that have to make the have to make adjustments to certain roles on our basketball team, and that takes a little bit of time. And I thought Michigan got out. Um, <clears throat> Probably got their 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 players in in a, in a more position to do that um, because they don't they they have a totally new roster so they have the freedom to do that. You've obviously raising three scoring points tonight, but let's talk a little bit about her ability to impact the game in other ways. Was it just an off night for her, or was it something that they were doing both? No, I mean they left her open. Sometimes when they leave leave you as open as they left Raven, like Raven's been hitting those shots in practice and. She's been hitting those shots in our exhibition game, so I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't think she's taking bad shots. Um, we would probably much prefer um, with her in a little bit more rhythm, you know, just passing it around the horn and taking standstill shots is not, is 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 not going to work in games. You got to create rhythm shots by attacking the paint, kicking out, and then you can see it coming a little bit better. But you know, she. She defends. Uh, she manages our basketball team. Like I don't, you know, when Raven scores, it's you know, it's extra for us. But she's gonna score for us, and I hope I hope she doesn't lose confidence because she didn't score tonight. Coach Josh Williams, um, just had a quick question for you. Like first, uh, the three pointer before half. How much momentum did you feel like you were gaining going into the locker? Room? Also, um, being a Hall of Famer yourself, um, do you ever speak to the children about just how much uh, you know you rode ahead of them there in terms of the legacy of the basketball team? Um, I mean, we, we didn't hit a whole lot of three pointers in the first half, so anytime you can see one go down, um, truly an unselfish play by Powell to even you know find find Tessa for that for that kick out is is it's those kind of rhythm shots. Tessa needed it, we needed it. Um, and I, you know, I think our players are playing extremely unselfish, um, but we got to find a way to put the ball in the hole, especially if we're going to take 26 threes, you know, we got to do a little bit better job of being more efficient. And then, um, I mean, I think these, these young, these, these youngsters, uh, really, I don't think they really have an understanding of any, anything outside of their worlds. Um. So, so yes, we have to expose them to events like this. And yes, there's a there's a Naismith Hall of Fame, like, and they too can be a you know, part of the Hall of Fame if if they take care of the game. You know, they gotta they gotta love up on the game, and the game will love up on them. And you know, maybe maybe one of them or two of them, I don't know what percentage will find themselves in the, in the Hall of Fame. Hi, Willie Ramirez with the Associated Press. I know you've been in town for. WNBA games, we felt the vibe and the energy. We're a few years into now where top tier women's basketball is tipping off the season here with different teams. Um, now, with you bringing the top ranked team in the country here, what was your, your thoughts on the vibe, the energy tonight yeah. uh, in, in Las Vegas as well, just becoming a basketball city more and more? Yeah, we, we brought our team here, we brought our fans here. Like, I mean, it, there was a lot of um, South Carolina women's basketball fans that came. Um, that, that filled this this arena up, um, but the fact that um, we can we can stand alone and, and play in a stadium like this and play before men's game and still have a a huge crowd out there, um, so our game is growing. Like this is just the tip of the iceberg, where um, you're going to see more and more. I think you're going to see more and more women come to to Vegas and play. So I think it's it's cool to be a part of. Like the first, well, actually, we're the second. Cause I think LSU, Colorado played right. Uh, obviously, a big night for Chloe East tonight. Got into early foul trouble. Kind of a mixed back for your post players. What was your overall assessment of what you saw down low? And what you saw from that group just playing yeah. an actual game? Um, I mean, I, I saw a little bit of a um, lack of experience, um, even even for our experienced players. Um, they. It's, it's different roles from so Fagan is it's a different role. She's used to coming off the bench, 
Now she's in a starting role, and that that role is a lot different than coming off the bench. It is you, you got to perform. Like we we gotta we gotta know what we're getting from our starters. You know, people that are coming off the bench, um, they could probably play more of more of a natural role. Like if you're a scorer coming off the bench, go score. All right. If you're starting, then you got to know what we're doing. You got to have energy. You got to you got to either blend in, blend in, get rebounds, run our offenses, or you got to make an impact. It just can't be nothing, because we can, you know, we can pull somebody out of stands to give us nothing. <laughs> and I, I'm not saying Fagan gave us nothing. I'm just saying the roles that you have to play if you haven't been a, a full-time starter are different. Hi, Sam Gibson, Mr. Daly. Um, what adjustments do you think that you guys made that were most helpful in the second half to slow down just the offense? Um, yeah, I, I thought we did pretty good um, controlling, controlling their drives to the basket, okay? Once they drove to the basket, if, if we got out of position, they got ahead of the possession and they just made us scramble and rotate out. I thought we did a better job at that. And once we did that, they started exposing us to, you know, they, they you know, Joyce hasn't been playing college basketball for a long time. So there were some actions they put her in that made her late. And she got sucked in on, on some penetration and, you know, she wasn't seeing her man on the ball and then they made her pay, knocked down a couple of threes on her. Um, but I think they would have probably got any of our post players with it. So it wasn't just on Joyce. It's, it's an action that, that forces your big to be a guard in that situation. And it's a lot going on, but she'll get better at it. Hi. Um from a coaching perspective, so many things that enabled them to be effective. Oh, yes, yeah, so a lot. So a lot. I mean, um, they're, they're shot makers, okay? They are. They're always moving with and without the ball, and they are, they are, I mean, they, they know the type of shots that they want, and they don't settle. And when, when people don't settle for, for shots, you always have to pay attention to them. You almost have to pay, you know, the, the, the player that is guarding them as well as the help. So it's almost they, they, they create so much attention that, that they'll make you pay. So it's a great, you know, I mean, we knew that they are players who can fill the stat sheet, and they did that. Uh, I'm just, um, I, I know that their up, upcoming opponents got some good um, takes on them because they, they were able to play their, you know, their their style of play. Okay. Ms. Daniels, Michigan Daily. You coached with Kim Barnes and Rico back in 2014-2015 with USA Basketball. What has your relationship with her been like over the years? How have you stayed in touch and how have you guys impacted each other's games? Yeah, Kim was great. Like, she was great to work with. Um, she's a fireball. She really understands basketball. Um, she was a, she was great having her on the bench. Just her, you know, her mind um, works. Um, I mean, she's got her team playing like this is virtually a, a new team. They look like they've been together for a long time. Um, so it's a it's a tribute to how she's able to coach and bring out the best in her players. Really wraps up. Uh, I think it was last week you talked about just wanting more game experience. And don't get me wrong, I know no matter how this game went, you would learn a lot from it and look at it the same way. But are there at least a little bit of benefits kind of seeing your team get that very early kind of, for lack of gut check, as Chapel said, just uh, a lot of beating your own, uh, beating themselves and making their own mistakes early with a team that's very different than last year? I mean, I'm, I, I like that we've been challenged. I like the fact that we've been exposed in certain areas. Because when you, you know, when you're, when you're teaching a, a team like this, you know, and we play against our highlighters, you know, it's not just because we're playing against guys. This is, you know, we were exposed against young women who were determined to play, um, and they they made an impact, like as a collective unit. So it's great, 
great film, great lessons, um, great gut check, um, great opportunity for us to learn and and hopefully we we definitely have to get better by the time that we we take the floor to play NC State on Sunday. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.